this is such a great role for both of you. I really think that your comedic skills truly get the chance to shine. Henry, have you always been gifted with comedy or is it something you've worked at? I'd like to think I'm a pretty funny guy, but um, no, I, I this is my first comedy um, that I was acting in and it's, it was a little bit of an adjustment for me at first. And I, I Carlos actually ended it up It was being, an adjustment for me to work with him as well. <laughs> Carlos ended up being a big help. And I, I definitely went to him and, and asked and pitched stuff. And uh, he helped me kind of find my way in comedy. Carlos, I think that both you and Henry I, I'm, I might be a little biased, but Mike and Ryan are uh, some standouts from the uncles. They give some great advice. Said it, not us. <laughs> what were some of your favorite little tips, Carlos, that you passed along to Rafa along the way? To Rafa? Like as the as, as uncle? Yes. As a... <laughs> oh, okay, I was there. Um, <laughs> for college? Don't take my certificate away from the wall. Uh, yeah, I think I don't really offer it outside of like the, the beginning of trying to. Did you have no advice for? No, you had some advice with uh, Maya. Did I? Yes, each uncle gives a little bit of love advice along the way. Um... <laughs> it wasn't good. It yeah. wasn't, I mean, mine was. was None of them were. <laughs> Many of them were, <laughs> were all single, except for yeah. Jay. I guess Jay could probably should have had better advice. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to pick a favorite or a standout moment or even a favorite episode from filming. Yes. Henry, <laughs> Henry, do you have any particular favorite moments or maybe episodes that you think fans should keep an eye out for? I think my favorite, my favorite bit is definitely the the roof bit in in episode five um which I'm, is gonna be carlos's favorite episode spoiler alert but it uh that that i i really loved doing and and i just think it's such an absurd ridiculous but very smart prank from like yeah um yeah for sure game champ the episode uh is hands down probably the most fun we had and for me like the best bit is the slapping scene with drea uh that was such a fun thing to shoot it was directed by melissa fumero and it was a good time i think the overall it just really encapsulated for me with uncle ryan and then just the type of comedy um in terms of like the physicality of it all but also like it was trying to still make a point and and the characters were you know, you know, he learned something. It was the slapping, but he could Did learn. she slap you when you were doing it? Yeah. You guys were faking it? It was fake. Were... Everybody, yeah, it looks so good, it too. Looks great. It looks great. <laughs> but no, I, I was all good stunt work. She did slap me, but not on purpose. Oh, she missed? She kind of, she... yeah, but not bad. She was terrified. Of it. No, but it was all, yeah, it was great. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. And I stand All right, I'm going to put the screws to Henry and see who was having the most trouble keeping it together during those funny scenes. I mean, we, you guys yeah. are hitting each other. You're wrestling. There's so many moments <laughs> where I would have at least trouble uh, keeping it together. Was there someone in particular that uh, broke during scenes the most? Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> and he's going to deny that. He's going to hate it. Yeah. But Johnny, it was definitely Johnny. Yeah. Um, Uncle I, we, Uncle I feel Roley. like we were probably competing for for second and third. Yeah, uh, I don't know if I probably was second, but I feel like uh, the th here's how I'll explain it. Uh, Johnny was very consistent with the breaking overall. I think once it was like late for us, we started to get like that silliness, like that you're just sure long day of work. So it just like. It would be like giggle. Yeah. You couldn't stop. Pavera. And it would <laughs> That's a, just be a five minute giggle. Yeah. A and once you get, you know, in a big group scene where you know you gotta finish and it makes it even harder, that's when you that's yeah. when you wanna laugh the the hardest. <laughs> well, I think Carlos it's gonna ask you if there was a, a way that you all shook off a long day of shooting, but it sounds like it was fun start to finish <laughs> while you were filming That's so fun. uh <laughs> yeah. exactly what do you think it is carlos about primo that's going to make it such a fast fan favorite comedy 
Chemistry, immediately chemistry. Uh, that goes a long way, and not 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 just a credit to to the cast for having that. It's a credit to the, the writing and also like Mike Schur and Chase Serrano and everybody that put us together because we didn't have usually uh, inside baseball. Usually, when you audition, you have chemistry tests, and we didn't have that. And I'm gonna be honest, I was concerned because usually you try to meet people and try to see if it works out. I mean, it's a lot of brothers, a lot yeah, of siblings to, to put together. So we met the first day of filming. We had like, you know, we had done Zooms and stuff, but it's not the same. So I was still a little, everybody's putting their best face forward on Zoom. Uh, but immediately that was one of the things I clocked. I was like, all right, this is gonna be great. We all, the whole family really Were you guys flows. on that? That was a day later. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not COVID when we started. Yeah. Well, whoopsie. Oops, um, but um, but the whole family stands Henry, and then when he came along, we we're like, oh, we already bonded. Too late. Yeah, you had to work extra hard. I just had to earn it all. Yeah, he, he was good. <laughs> Too late to recast him at that point. He just had to step in and pretend to be a brother at that point. <laughs> he was, I was worried pretty about convinced it. I was going to recast for the first week. Yeah. Well, what do you think, Henry, is about the series that's just going to make it a fast fan favorite? I really think there's so much heart, there's so much humor. There's a little bit of love and levity for everyone, I think, not just for people with brothers, not just for people who are single moms, not just for Latin families. Yeah, I think uh, I think in the same vein as Ted Lasso, the, the love kind of shines through everything, and it, it's a very feel-good story, and I think whether you know, you're younger and, and watching for Rafa or watching for the Chris or Andrea and, and the uncles, I think either way, there's there's so much love and it's it's fun. It's really fun and, and quirky. And I think that's and it also and it shines through. And I've said this yeah. before. As as long as like a portion, a percentage of the, the chemistry and the fun that we had shines through the screen then we've done our job. I mean, literally, if just even if it's just an ounce of it, I think that people are really going to dig it. 